Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video. Getting to the bottom of PMS. What is PMS? Why does it seem to affect some women so much worse than others? Why is it that last month seemed to be a breeze, but this month is more of a bear? All of these questions go back to the basics of PMS, aka premenstrual syndrome, which is a condition so common that virtually anyone knows what this condition actually entails, to a certain extent. PMS is a prevalent form of premenstruation symptoms that have an effect on women aged 18 all the way up to menopause. PMS takes place during the 5 to 7 days that lead up to menstruation itself. Researchers have connected PMS to the alteration of the woman's hormone balance and speculate that the sudden shift leads to the erratic physical and also psychological displays of symptoms. Women know that some women appear to be immune to any kind of PMS, while others only present with the minutest symptoms. Statistical evidence based on volunteer studies of patients, who were actually seeking medical help for the problem, estimates that PMS is part and parcel of the monthly cycle for roughly 40% of women. The other 60% do not report any form of PMS or were not willing to divulge this information. While these 40% are a serious number to consider, further research showed that in at least 10% of the confirmed PMS cases the symptoms were so severe that they interfered with a woman's ability to perform a job, function within a relationship, or even keep up with basic chores and social obligations. The collection of symptoms associated with PMS includes exhaustion that cannot be explained with physical exertion, short-tempered outbursts, unexpected flare-ups of rage that may be directed at people or things, brisk changes in the way a woman might respond to an everyday situation, and of course also the physical manifestations of distension of ankles and the waist, as well as severe cramping. Migraine headache sufferers report that in addition to other symptoms, PMS also heightens their chances of experiencing one or more bad cases of migraines. Researchers working with women, who declared they were PMS sufferers, found out that those women who quit their typical exercise regimen because of pain, discomfort, or fatigue were actually worse off than those who fought through the pain and continued to exercise. PMS is one of the most misunderstood conditions by those who do not suffer from it. Whether it is benign or borderline debilitating, the fact that others misconstrue the suffering, symptoms, and also overall mindset of a woman in the midst of PMS actually worsens the condition. This is especially true if those are individuals who are close to the sufferers, such as family members, mates, or even co-workers. Women have expressed that it is difficult to seek help when they are being joked about by friends or family members, this has actually led to the breakdown of several relationships that would normally have been dear to the sufferer. If you've liked the video give it a thumb up, leave a comment and share with your friends. We thank you so much for watching. For more nutrition, health and beauty tips, please subscribe to our channel.